Hey guys, Boydry's sister for real. I got the tea kettle and babies. Y'all know I got this mic. I got a story for y'all. It's just a comeback story. It's an update. As I promise you guys, I promise you I will keep you updated on the Fanny Willis and the Nathan Wade. Well, she had a 176-page file and she had to answer to. That's a lot of pages. And she must have had a whole lot of words. But the bottom line is, Fanny came clean. Fanny says, yes, uh, we had a relationship, but it didn't start until 2022. We weren't even, we weren't even romantically involved until 2022. We were friends, though. <clears throat> what, the, what in the world? We were friends. We were friends, that's what she said, when she hired him. I'm like, is Freddie drinking? I'm just, I'm, not, I'm just saying that. I ain't making no, you know, I'm not, I'm just not making an allegation. I'm just saying, is she drinking? Smoking in her right mind. I'm like, you know, you the DA, Fulton County DA. That's a conflict of interest, but she swear up and down it's not a conflict and will not put an impact on a Donald Trump prosecution case. She said that don't have nothing to do with it. Fanny May, I'm gonna call her Fanny May. Fanny Willis is making up her whole own rules as she go. I like that confidence about her, though. She got some confidence. I'm so stupid. Excuse me, I'm sorry. I didn't even say it like that. But I'm like, what? Are, are, what in the world are you thinking? I mean, am I? Are y'all seeing what I'm saying? Thinking what I'm thinking? Or I'm just, I don't understand that. You have, you know, your friends. You know your friends, and you're gonna hire your friend. Where does that happen? Y'all tell me. Well, please tell me. Tell me where that happened because I don't know where it happened at. And on top of that, they had some witnesses to come about. Can't come come out. Come out the woodworks and say they were co cohabiting. They were co inhabiting before she hired him. Now, you know what? I want to see some pictures. I want to see some videos on that. And I want some close-up videos. But apparently, they got someone that they're going to raise their hand and swear on the Bible on that. Oh, I can't wait. I need some popcorn. I want. Ooh, I need to be sitting on the front row. Ooh, that sounds like some good Sunday morning preaching going to be happening up in, in the camp. Man, oh, man. Ooh, ooh. But anyway, guys, um, Fanny is arguing I was challenging the judge to not disqualify in either one of them because their situationship don't have nothing to do with their skills to handle this case against Donald Trump. But I'm telling you what, they coming up against Donald Trump. Everybody that deals with Donald Trump either go to jail, they get all their money taken away from, or they're fired. Now, you think... Fannie Mae and Nathan Wade is going to fall into any of those categories. But I'm going to tell you what. That Fannie Mae got some confidence. And she, but she told the truth. She, well, she told the truth that they were involved in a relationship. And then he come back, Mr. Um, Nathan Wade said, uh-uh, we, um, not, uh-uh. But he said, we, you know, we went out on a trip to Aruba and had one king-size bed, but she paid half and I paid half. Uh-uh, she didn't use none of my money. Boy, whew, I'm telling you, they'll make a movie on this one after this whole case and uh, this whole situation ship comes to the full full light. You know what I'm saying. You know they you know the old school, what happened in the dark comes to the light. But guys, tell me what you think. Do you think that it's a conflict of interest? And Guys, the moral of this story is this don't mix business with pleasure. That's the moral of this story. But guys, I keep you updated because they have a next hearing that's going to be February 15th when they should decide on whether both of them will be qualified or disqualified. So let me know um, what you think 
in the comments on whether you think that there is absolutely a conflict of interest. Because uh, Fannie Willis is saying, uh, there ain't no conflict of interest. Although we were together romantically, but there ain't no conflict of interest. We were friends when I hired him, but it's no conflict of interest. That's a new one on me. Mm. Mm, 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 mm. But guys, let me know in the comments. I'm shaking my head. I'm SMHing this. I'm like, what in the world? And where does this happen at? Guys, thank you for watching. Marjorie's sister for real. And guys, I appreciate y'all so much. And I love you. Thank you for trying to help me and support this channel, this podcast. Thank you. I appreciate you. And guys, I'll see you guys, hopefully, in the next video.